Welcome back everybody to Because You're Fish. Thanks for joining me again. My name's Seth and this time I'd like to talk to you about an awesome little nano fish called the Strawberry Raspora or Barreras Navis. So if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe and come check out this awesome little fish. So I want to highlight some of the more interesting behavior of these fish. I'll show you how they light up from the inside when they're attracting a mate. I'll show you some of their shoaling behavior. They shoal really tight, it's really pretty. And then I'll show you some of their breeding behavior. Now, one thing that I think you should know about this fish is that the term chili raspora is also a generic term that's used to describe a lot of the small red micro rasporas. So a lot of the time these fish will be sold uh, as chili rasporas along with the phoenix rasporas. Uh, it's just because the term chili raspora sells better, uh, but the strawberry raspora uh, is great in its own right. It just has excellent behavior. Now, my favorite thing about this fish is that it is shrimp fry safe. As you can see throughout this video, uh, a lot of the time the Neocardinia shrimp are larger than the fish. So, uh, they want to eat the shrimplets. They're just too small to do so. So you can really get a booming culture of shrimp uh, with these fish. Uh, I hear that question a lot. You know, what fish can I keep with my shrimp that's not going to decimate my shrimp fry? Well, these micro raspora are an excellent option. Uh, you just saw two males sparring. Uh, they fire up bright red, especially if you feed them live foods, mosquito larvae, um, baby brine shrimp, micro worms. All those are perfect foods for these fish, and it really gets them uh, in that spawning uh, mood, if you will. Uh, problem is, is they, they prey on the eggs heavily. I'll show you again in case you missed it because the eggs are super small and hard to see. And as always, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you learned something or liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Um, if there's another fish that you like that doesn't prey on shrimp or can't eat shrimp fry, uh, I'd like to hear about it. Anyway, thanks again, and we'll catch you next time.